I look fantastic. <laughs> Ironic that I am standing here by myself to talk to you about the power and the beauty of performing with an ensemble. Now, I should start by saying I love my family. <laughs> because if not for them, I would not be the man I am today. And I'm not just saying that because I invited them tonight. <laughs> like the catcher in the rye, my story begins in high school. And that's where the similarity ends. <laughs> I was not a popular child. I was not an athlete. I was terrorized in junior high school. And it didn't help that we moved all the way across the country. So I was a lonely child and I was in search of something to fill me, and that's when I found the theater. When I got cast in a play, I couldn't wait to go to rehearsal, because that is where I was among friends. I was with people who thought I was adorable, <laughs> and most of them were girls. <laughs> now, my love for performing followed me to Arizona State University. And that's where I found the far side. Now, by my sophomore year, I had become the head writer for a sketch troupe that hated fraternities and sororities. <laughs> and every week, we would do sketches making fun of fraternities and sororities. And we were obnoxious, and we loved it. And we loved each other, and we became a family. So much so, so that in the past 10 years, we have gone out of our way to spend at least one weekend in a year in San Diego catching up like a family. Now, college had to end, so for about three years, I was miserable. I had nothing, and I was in search of something to fill that void. I got into making short films, but I also found my new love of improv. Now, improvisation, gave me my new family. Because improv is more than just being clever and making stuff up. Improv, when it's done right, it is creating art from the most pure of natural resources, our very existence. And this is where I found my new family. Now, some families are dysfunctional. <laughs> and we don't always get along, and sometimes we have our fights, but through our fights, we still love each other. And I truly do love these people. I love them with all my heart. There isn't a person on this screen that I wouldn't take a bullet for. And that's not just words. I truly love them that much and that deeply. And what I'm speaking about tonight isn't just about improv or theater. It is about community. It is about reaching out and finding like-minded and broad-minded people who share in your passion. That is what the Torch Theater is all about. That is what the Phoenix Improv Festival is all about. And dare I say, that is what Ignite is all about, right? <laughs> now, some of these people that I have shared the stage with, I have been sharing that stage with them for more than 10 years. 10 years. Statistically speaking, that is better than most marriages. <laughs> and not nearly as messy. But these people, they are my brothers and my sisters, and I don't know what I would do without them. Because they have shared in my triumphs. They have comforted me in my heartbreaks. And they have been there for me in my brightest and darkest of hours. And without them, I would still be that lonely child in search of something to fill that void. Now, I have done my share of solo projects, and some of them with varying degrees of success. But even in those solo ventures, working by myself, it always reminded me of how much I appreciate the ensemble and how my brothers and sisters are always there for me. Now, I leave you tonight with a little Shakespeare. From this day to the ending of the world, but we in it shall be remembered, we few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother or sister. And that's my time. Good night.